I'm Hewan Hook, and this is The Real Review. The wine we're tasting today is Naked Run the First Riesling 2020 from the Clare Valley. So the backstory of, of Naked Run wines is that three friends who uh, all have a background in the wine business, some of them in, in retailing, some of them in production, uh, three guys called Steve, Brad and Jamie got together and created this brand called Naked Run. Why do they call it Naked Run? Um, I'm not sure. It's buried in the mists of time. But there is a, um, a uh, what appears to be the silhouette of a, a naked lady running on the label very discreetly down the bottom there. Um, Steve Baraglia is the, uh, is the winemaker, or Steve Baraglia. I think if you're in Italy, they would probably pronounce it Baraglia. Baraglia. He is the winemaker at uh, Naked Run, and Naked Run is kind of like his, um, his nighttime job. His daytime job is as the senior winemaker at Pikes in the Clare Valley. Very well-known family company, Pikes, um, renowned for great Riesling. And Steve himself is a great Riesling tragic, self-confessed. So of course, his own brand Naked Run um, specializes in Riesling. They do a couple of reds as well. Very good too. Um, but Naked Run, the first, is the entry level Riesling and it's the young one. They release it young, the 2020 is already out and um, their older one is called A Place in Time and that's always released at four or five years of age and you know, has that extra benefit of bottle age character. So what does this wine taste like? Naked Run, the first Riesling. Very pale, first thing you notice. It's a young wine, 2020. It's only, you know, about six months old. It's, uh, it's a new wine and uh, just come onto the market now. The aroma is fantastic. <laughs> It's very rare to find really young Riesling, as young as this is, with such a beautifully developed bouquet, but that is very floral, very fragrant. Um, it is just gorgeously open and accessible. It's not closed up and minerally and saying, go away and leave me alone for a few more months. It doesn't have dominant sulfur character, which sometimes they have uh, when they're newly bottled, but it is just beautifully fragrant. Hmm. And the intensity of the flavour is very, very good. It's delicate, of course, because it's a young wine and Rieslings are always delicate if they're any good. Especially when they're young, it will fill out a bit more with age. But right now, it's got that lovely precision, that purity of lime, lime lemon flavours. Um, it's uh, very much about primary fruit at the moment, but give it a few more months, a couple of years preferably, and you'll start to see some more toast perhaps a bit of honey developing in that bouquet. Finishes nice and dry and clean, good acidity, but the acidity is not obvious, it doesn't grate at all. Um, there's possibly just two or three grams of residual sugar in that wine, just softening the middle and making it a bit more fruity and more accessible. But that's very much a delicate uh, style of Claire Riesling, moderately low alcohol, about 12, 12 12.5%, um, 11.5%, I'm sorry and um, you know, they can go up as high as 12.5 or 13%, but that is a, a very fresh, very tight, pristine, lovely, lovely wine. Well, we scored at 95 out of 100, which is a gold ribbon score. It's a top value recommendation because the price is so good. And um, we rate it at number two out of 20 um, Rieslings from the 2020 vintage that we've already tasted from the Clare Valley. $24 a bottle, very, very good value indeed. So we asked the winemaker Steve Borrelia what he would like to serve with this wine and he suggested freshly shucked oysters and I would assume he's talking about South Australian oysters, perhaps Coffin Bay oysters, which would be the local specialty from that area. I can't think of anything better than that, frankly. But his second choice is King George Whiting, which is also a famous local delicacy from this part of South Australia. That would be superb with that wine. Cheers. <laughs> 